You've worked so hard for all the things you have. The salary, the status, the success. And with that image, there's a drink. One to unwind, one to loosen up, one to take the edge off. But how do you know when a drink is more than just a drink? We get it. We can help. Karen's Grandview program has been helping accomplished people just like you regain their lives. Talk to us. Visit karen.org slash grandview. I'm DJ Burr, and today I'm speaking with film producer Evie Warner. Evie, welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you so much for, for, ha- for having me. It's uh, We talked about doing this quite some time ago, and uh, I'm glad that it uh, finally worked out. Yeah, me too. To get together. Evie's here to talk to us today about a film that she's currently working on called 15 Minutes, and it's about a male survivor of uh, sexual abuse. Evie, can you tell us more about the film and your role in it? It's basically about a, a male um, victim of sexual assault. Um, he's in college. And um, I was inspired to do it after reading about it. Um, one in 10 rape victims are actually male. Um, and one in 17, I think it's like one in 17 um, college males will be the victim of some form of sexual um, assault. Uh, while in college, and so the way the way that we um, always frame sexual assault to me is always women are always the victims and the males are always perpetrators. And I mean, statistically, I I guess maybe overall, um, women are most likely um, the victims. Um, you know, men are. Sometimes, you know, sometimes the victims, and while maybe slightly rarer, um, it is possible for a woman to be the perpetrator as well. Um, and it takes a lot longer sometimes for, I think, men to really internalize maybe what it was that happened to them. Like, some, some men that I've talked to are just like, Takes them a while for it to click. Was like, wow, that was that was rape. You know, they. I know a guy that for the longest time he kind of just made you know joke about it, kind of thing. Like, oh yeah, I was drunk and she just did whatever to me and tried to just play it off as a joke. And finally, one time, a woman told him, a female friend of his, like, dude, I raped you. And you know, for some reason. It just took them a really long time to just frame it as 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 that, and to really maybe I just mention admit to himself what had happened. I guess. Well, I think there could be a lot of reasons why someone might take a while to to comprehend what happened, especially for a male survivor of abuse, because of the messages that we we get in our society. You know. Um, you know, I, I think on it's portrayed on TV that, you know, if a woman has sex with a man and maybe he's not maybe completely fully engaged, that that's OK. Right. Because he just get he's just hooking up and, and that's fine. Um, but it's not fine to, to have sex with someone without their permission or to have sex with someone after they have said no. Right. And so we don't have a lot of resources for men when that has happened to them. And so where do they turn? But it sounds like you have had people come to you and tell their story, and you're now going to put it on film. So we are we are currently in post production. Um, we had done a Kickstarter, and we were supposed to have it done by January. So I'm hoping that uh, we will get some things. Uh, locked down with the editing and that we'll be on uh, on track to get that released. And, uh, probably um, we might do um, like a small private showing because it's, it's, like it's like a five minute film. Um, we might do a small private showing for some of the cast and crew um, and then it'll probably be um, available 
on Am- on Amazon, uh, hopefully by the end of January. Well, Evie, uh, keep, you know, stay in touch and, and let us know how the film is going and we'll definitely uh, connect our, our listeners. Again, it's uh, facebook.com slash real Evie, E-V-I-E, Marie, M-A-R-I-E, Warner, W-A-R-N-E-R. And uh, you can find me on there. So. Excellent. Well, thank you once again for, for being a part of the conversation. Well, thank you again for having me and you have a great holiday. Rule the day the plant-based way with the new vegan mixed berry from Smoothie King. Powered by whole non-GMO fruits, oat milk, and vegan protein, it's a dairy-free plant-based smoothie you can feel great about. With 13 grams of protein and half your daily fiber, it's an easy way to get the essential nutrients your body craves. Skip the line and order online for pickup or delivery. Smoothie King, rule the day. Pretzels. Look. What, Chips? Look. Who's the new guy? Fanta. I think he's looking at me. Uh, Pretzels, you got it twisted. He's looking at me. Stop being salty, Chips. We both got a chance. Shh, he's coming over. Ladies. Hi. And hello to you. Back at you, handsome. Fanta picked beef jerky? Mm, girl, we're going to be here a while. 